Yo guys and welcome back to a new video on my channel. My name is Dan from Crypto Rover. Thank you once again for tuning in to this amazing new video here on the channel, guys. Very special video today. Of course, I'm not at home. I am currently in Dubai. So of course, thank you for already tuning in. And let me go right away into the price chart of Ethereum. So first of all, guys, one thing I want to be clarifying up. First, I uh, had a stream plan, but unfortunately, I can't stream because my internet connection is yeah a little bit too slow currently. Um, but right now, after the video that I'm after after when I uploaded the video. I will be getting uh, my internet cable so after that i will be of course able to um to do these live streams again so tomorrow or maybe already tonight you can be expecting another stream from me so please make sure to keep your eyes out on the channel and uh you have to know i will be always streaming for you guys because you guys seem to love it and i will always uh love streaming as well but guys let me right away go into the chart because in the end of the day guys we want to be having an update we want to be seeing what the price chart is doing and i want to be looking at ethereum so guys let me talk about a little bit of ethereum because what you can currently see here is that ethereum is being increasing for the past a couple hours pretty significantly and yesterday in the stream we've been talking about this uh, 2.618 here this level around the uh, 3431 and you can see if we exactly touched this level and got the correction so why is this such an important level and why do we have to be looking at this level so uh, we were of course yesterday looking at the daily candles and i was telling to you guys okay if i looked for potential extension levels um we can be looking to uh, see the two 2.618 as major resistance as well since breaking the 1.618 here you can see we uh, retested it and of course went way higher but what are we currently doing and are we still looking bullish in my opinion yeah yes we are still looking good here and there's nothing to really worry about because as you can see as well over here we are already creating a big wake on the lower side and i definitely think that we can be searching uh, yeah pretty significantly to the upside so for ethereum um there's nothing really to worry about and i definitely still think that we have way more potential to the upside but for me what will be very bearish if, if we of course are going to close this daily candle below the 2.618 here so let's see how the end of the day will be uh closing for ethereum i still feel very excited about the price section of ethereum and uh yeah for me it will be very important where the daily candle will be closing besides that of course if you look at the bigger picture i also set up a different fibonacci to uh on on, on the bigger picture and let me get that in front of me um that's here the 3876 us dollars and that's of course the 2.618 in the bigger time frame that's of course from the swing high to the swing low of the previous uh yeah ultimate to the previous bear market low and for that extension level, we will be looking towards the 3,876 US dollars. And of course, yeah, guys, like you can see as well on the channel, if you go to the past stream here, I was also saying it in my title. I was also saying it a lot in the streams here. I still definitely think that this start, the target of this insane parabolic run up for Ethereum will be around the 3,876 US dollars. So, of course, you want to be careful, guys. Look at the daily candles. We're absolutely in a parabolic run up. And you want to be careful with buying into these parabolic run ups. So, guys, please never rush into anything. But in general yes i do feel very excited about ethereum and i can't wait to see where it's heading towards and I definitely still think yes we can probably easily smash through this level very uh yeah in a very rapid pace here besides that if you also uh let me get the mcd right away in front of the screen guys the mcd on the daily is looking very healthy and very uh, good in my opinion uh, you can see currently yeah we are still sending higher lows we're still sending higher highs and again you can see basically uh, the trend is definitely to the upside also this bullish crossover since then we were seeing insane volatility getting created to the upside and yeah if you identify the four hour it's looking a little bit worse in my opinion of course we're still sending higher lows in the four hour um here we set a lower high and right now we're sending a higher high in the previous side so it's a little bit in indecision here um even if, if i look to the buyers and if you look to the sellers yes they are still in the uptrend and we're still uh, going higher and higher and of course like i told you before as well here guys for me what will be very important is of course the weekly close on the ethereum compared to bitcoin chart and what you can currently see with ethereum compared to bitcoin is that we are having this beautiful breakout here and uh you can currently see that we are um yeah of course searching higher very quickly and my expectations uh, is still that we are probably going to reach the 10 uh, percent of a bitcoin and of course i'm not saying that we're going to do this in this week i'm not going to say that it will be next week but it can still take approximately three months or so and we can maybe can still get a major rejection what is very likely to maybe First, have a retest before really going for a uh, moonshot to the upside. But definitely, you have to learn from the past as well here. Guys, in the previous bull cycles, uh, near the end of the cycle, you see Ethereum, you see the altcoins pumping absolutely crazy. And of course, you were maybe saying, okay, do I need to worry because Ethereum is pumping and Bitcoin isn't? Um, for me, no, Bitcoin is uh, no reason to panic for my for me at the moment. But yeah, the Ethereum compared to Bitcoin chart, maybe still. And I think the chances are very high to get a correction from this point because yes, we are extremely overextend on the Ethereum compared to US dollar chart and also Ethereum compared to Bitcoin. So um, yeah, I mean, it's not out of the books to see a minor correction coming in here. And of course, if we're going to see a move to the downside getting created towards the previous uh, support target, sorry, previous resistance target, we're now flipping into support. 
I will be definitely looking for uh, maybe some accumulation for my long position. So I already can't wait to see what we're going to do. And I definitely feel very excited about this. And guys, also thing, of course, that you want to be discussing is Bitcoin. Because yes, Bitcoin is, for me, a very important asset to look at. And what can we currently say about Bitcoin? Is this a re are, are we right now, um, do we right now have to be panicking? Right away, we'll be answering your question. Um, I mean, yeah, you can see we are still de definitely in an uptrend on the daily. And uh, there was yesterday also going something around with the buyback chart, uh, creating a big wake on the lower side. But that was, of course, because of a liquidity shock. And uh, for me, there's no really a real uh, worry at the moment. And I, of course, accumulated the position around the um, 56 uh, 55.9k here and of course added more ones going lower unfortunately i did not got filled on my next entry but still will be riding the trade that's currently still in the green and i can't wait to see where it's sending towards and i mean i definitely want to be trading with the trend here and guys if you want to be also signing up with your film link in the description it's definitely worth to do so because with buy which you're currently getting a 1080 us dollars bonus um and that's of course very exciting and guys if you also want to be having a room tour maybe i can do a vlog style of uh inform and uh, maybe i can do it video in a vlog style later today um if we're seeing something very important uh, in the bitcoin price so let me know if you guys want that as well here uh also if you want to be following me on instagram it's definitely worth to do so um it's definitely worth to do so because yeah unfortunately unfortunately um unfortunately i can't bring you guys on i can't show you everything on youtube but if you want to be following me on following me as well on instagram you can be uh, following me it is at crypto rover yt you can find it in the description as well here and of course we are making daily stories over there so if you're interested in my personal life it's definitely worth to check out here and guys i even um i mean yeah for bitcoin what is really the target that we should be looking at what do we uh, have to be saying about bitcoin i mean it's very easy to say for bitcoin of course like i touched before daily daily candle still in uptrend the four hourlies is a little bit interesting because yes uh, we were closing below the 56k here and i was a little bit worried that we were getting a correction and if you look at the four hourly chart these levels are coming together. The 56k is a very important level for the four hourly and daily candles. And you can see, yeah, the four hourly is currently falling back here. But I won't be surprised if we're going to create a wick on the top side and maybe see a correction a little bit lower. Because, yes, of course, we are still in uptrend and you want to be trading with the trend. Uh, but this is definitely a very bearish close, uh, close that we got uh, previously. So I don't want to be uh, causing a lot of fat here, but I want to be raising awareness, guys. Uh, it's pretty unfortunate we were closing below the 56k here because this was a major important target for me that we uh, that we have to be holding on here. So let's see how this will be ending, of course, and also on the daily chart. You can see the 54.3k. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we did not touch that level, but it's definitely also a very important level that you want to be accumulating on. Um, but yeah, the, the 4 hourly uh, MACD is also, I mean, I don't want to be bearish. Because if I look to the bigger picture, like the one day, I'm looking pretty bullish. But uh, the 4 hourly MACD is also going into a cool period. You can see lower highs getting formed, lower lows getting formed. So there are more sellers entering the market than buyers currently. And um, currently, the trend on the 4 hour is definitely to the downside. So that is already a reason to panic. And uh, not, a re not a reason to panic, but a reason to be careful. But guys, you can already see this coming here. You can see lower high getting created on the MACD. And you can see it also already coming in over here. So here you could already saw, uh, okay, we are having a trend reversal. And after that, we cooled off very significantly. So it's pretty exciting. But guys, if you also flip onto a different indicator, and I mean, I want to be looking at multiple indicators because I want to be giving you um, multiple scenarios. And I mean, for the next scenario, I mean, this is, of course, the EMA ribbon. And we've been seeing this uh, many times here that we were, uh, of course, breaking above the EMA ribbon once again here, of course, in the previous bull markets. We'll be not going back into it right now. But yeah, you break above the previous, um, you, you break above the uh, EMA ribbon once again, right now retesting it on the daily, and you will be moving up once again here. So this, of course, very exciting to see here. And I still definitely think that we can be seeing some more upwards momentum. So uh, this is, of course, very exciting. And I still think, yeah, of course, getting supported by the daily EMA yesterday as well here. This is not looking bearish at all. And uh, we will be probably heading higher anytime soon here. And also, the four hour, yes, this is maybe... Uh, you may be thinking, oh, I have to flip bearish because we closed below it. I mean, uh, we've been seeing closes below it multiple times here. And of course, still, um, yeah, flash it. Uh, uh, yeah, but once again, back above here. So for me, it's not really a, a reason to worry. But guys, unfortunately, I will be wrapping up the stream right, uh, the video right now. Like I promised you already, um, I will be right now going to the store. I will be getting my, myself an, um, yeah, an internet cable adapter so I can, you know, of course, do this live stream. Because otherwise, the connection is just too bad. And I can't do a stream with bad connection, guys. So, so very sorry for my bad pre preparations. Um, but of course, hopefully you enjoyed the video. So let me know in the comments if you want to see me doing a, a vlog style video once again here. Of course, still talking about Bitcoin, still talking about the chart. But if we're going to do it... Of course, it will be later today. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you're having an amazing day here. And don't forget, peace out. Goodbye.